Hi, in this video I'm going to be reviewing a waterproof 60 amp 2 plus 1 plus 5 pin connector for use with your trolling motor. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is what the item looks like when I unpackaged it. And it just came in this plastic bag. This is a rubber grommet and the mounting hardware. And it's a Janine Con, which I've used before for trolling motors, and it works really well. And I like them because they have a spring loaded locking mechanism here. And so I'm going to line these up just so you can see how it works at first, and then I'll go over what I've been able to figure out. So get everything to line up here the five pins here with the five pins in here just like that and then it locks in and again a little spring loaded and it comes apart now what's a little more difficult using this one is since it's a two plus one plus five pin setup basically these are going to be your power pins here and they're pretty large so you'll be able to run the wire to, to run the rating here at 60 amps and then you've got your five male pins in here and on the opposite side here this is where you're going to have to do some really delicate soldering here you can see it's almost like a little cup and you can lay your 8 or 10 gauge power wires in there and then here, if you're going to run for an ESC or a PWM or extend the controls on some type of electronics, you're going to use smaller wiring. And if you look real careful, you can see these little cutouts in there, those little cups. So what you do is you slide your wiring in there, and then you're going to take the soldering iron and just hit it with a little bit of solder. So you're going to need a very fine tip and some pretty good soldering skills to make this work. And then of course you have the opposite here and you unscrew this to run your wiring through and of course this unscrews as well and you repeat the same thing there. So overall if you want to run a single plug when you're using an ESC, a PWM or something like that this will work. It's just going to take a little bit of skills but Overall, I think it's a good choice. Okay, I wanted to try a little test just to see how easy it would be to solder in there. And actually, it wasn't that difficult. What I did first was just slide in one of these wires. And this is 22 gauge single core wire, which made it easier. I just laid it in that little cup and then went in there with a real quick touch of the soldering iron point with the solder and did it for three different wires and it came out good. It's nice and tight in there. So one of them might be a little bit more difficult like the one that's directly underneath the center one, but it can be done. So I just wanted to give an example of it. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.